Dear Boomer, Is solitude in old age a blessing or a curse? Obviously, the best way to look at that is the way you look at it. If you think it's a blessing, then it's a blessing. If you think it's a curse, then it is a curse. Why would people have a life of solitude after retirement or as they get older? And that really is a matter of choice. I mean, you can go out into the marketplace and you can join groups that help you think, you know, book clubs or um, athletic clubs. You can do join a church if you haven't already been involved in a church and get involved with people in a community sort of way. However, one of the most important things that we can do in life, according to Blaise Pascal, who was a mathematician in the 1600s, and that is to sit in a room alone until you feel like you have dealt with all of the feelings that are coming up, dealt with all of the raw emotions, and that's what COVID did for us. Uh, many of us were uh, totally alone during COVID, not necessarily because we chose it, but once it happened, then it was important to choose it. My husband died just at the beginning of COVID. And usually when somebody dies, you have a kind of like, I, I know that I would have had an open house where people would come over and give me food because my appetite had completely gone away. And However, because it was COVID and the world shut down, I did not have that, anybody coming over, which was a great opportunity, a great opportunity for me. I started studying Buddhist texts. I am not a Buddhist and I really am not a Christian or uh, not a Jewish person and I'm not a Muslim. However, I studied Buddhist test, texts and took notes and passed the tests that were provided for me at the end of each section. And I started to listen more to Ram Das, and um, I decided to take on a meditation teacher with Will Johnson. And I still want to set up my house as a sanctuary, which I believe is a sanctuary whether I set it up that way or not. And I have these online businesses where I am in touch with people all the time. We have a mastermind group. I really don't um, have the time at the moment to go out into the community to volunteer, but I do believe I am making a difference with the content that I am creating and reaching out to the boomers who may need to have an alternate lifestyle that they need to envision for themselves. Life is not as easy as it seems, but it can be easier than than we envision. So, you know, basically, when you are alone, it's an opportunity for discovery about who you are as a human being. Blaise Pascal was correct sitting in a room all by yourself and really virtually meditating and, and following the breath and as thoughts arise that take you away from the breath and from the present moment you bring yourself back and you bring yourself back and that is me what meditation is all about you um, follow the breath and you bring yourself back when you are migrating away from the silence and the solitude. We are afraid to be alone. We're afraid of solitude. We want to get up and, and get that cell phone and do some scrolling. I mean, people my age do have cell phones and there's no doubt about that. The important thing is to do what you are drawn to do and put away the electronics, really, at least for periods during the day or take a fast away from the electronics and in doing so you are living a different kind of lifestyle which is more with the natural rhythms of nature of the beautiful springtime that we are experiencing here in central Pennsylvania we can t I know that my dogs 
allow me the luxury of not being alone. I, t I love having their company. And when they're here with me, I feel tremendous peace. I feel, I feel so much love. I love it when they lie by my feet. I love it when Maso curls up beside me in bed, although he, even though he's 33 pounds, he basically almost pushes me out of bed. Um, and uh, we, we have to understand that we just don't want to live our lives out in, um, in a moment and in in without the awareness that life is precious and that we wake up every morning with this beautiful idea that life is absolutely worth living in every aspect of life and foster this attitude of loving life and do it several times during the day before you go to bed at night and especially when you wake up in the morning your mind is in a, a state of coming out of your sleep state and that's a perfect time to meditate on the joy of living and when you go to bed at night that's another time when your mind is is sinking out of the of the daily life and best time to meditate is at that time too Yogananda, Paramahansa Yogananda said, the best times to meditate are at 3 a.m. in the morning, 9 o'clock in the morning, 12 o'clock at midday, sometime in the afternoon at probably 3, and go to bed early and meditate before you go to bed. I know that I one of the big things I have done is turned off the news because it's just devastating what's going on everywhere. I um, do, do intend to vote, and it's not for any alternative political person because of the dire circumstances that would arise with a dictator in America. I don't think we need that. Um, but I don't want to get involved with the Democratic Party because I feel, now here's a, here's a uh, controversial opinion, that, that the Democratic Party is uh, often not into free speech. I didn't like what they did with Bernie Sanders, for instance, and apparently did with Marianne Williamson and Robert Kennedy. And, uh, but at this time in our development as a country and a democracy, we probably don't need alternative political candidates. And, um, and then to constantly point out Joe Biden's being old, 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 or anybody being old is, is a disservice to the elderly. And as <laughs> the ageism in our society is not helped by accusing people of being old, pointing out at the moment that they stumble literally and figuratively if they don't say the right word if they just basically if they go out in public as uh, Michelle Obama almost did not that she's old but I mean she almost went out to watch she wanted to get out of the White House and she was dressed in jeans and a t-shirt had that had she done that the tabloids would have been all over her so um, we have to, what, what is the point? Yeah, so she was not old, but she is scrutinized. The, and the, the first um, African-American family in the White House would be extra scrutinized. Fair or not fair, it's just the point of it happening. So solitude in old age is an opportunity to go inward within yourself so that really that you're preparing yourself for the passing out of this world into the next and in order to really prepare you don't want to not prepare because you don't want to have the moment of death be the only time in your life when you have an aha moment because that's what it's going to be an aha moment had you not explored time alone had you not explored the solitude that is inherent in life the quiet people are afraid of quiet now i i live uh, here at this right on the edge of a highway where sirens go by 
continuously. <laughs> I'm so sorry that they are. It must mean that somebody had a heart attack. So um, I feel that being alone is a blessing, and I have loved every moment of it, and I can't even tell you how. I, I don't want to change it. I don't want to change my life to be a bustle of activity all the time, running around, doing this, doing that, being affected by what people say, what they don't say, whether they like me, whether they don't like me. The point is, is that I have to love myself. And the more I love myself, the more I love you, the more I forgive myself, the more I forgive you. And it, it's a give and take, and it's a lovely, lovely thing. Um, so the silence that I have uh, in terms of being silent is a blessing for me. And I have become an introvert, as I have mentioned before, and it's even more of an introvert. I, I really was always an introvert, but now I'm more of an introvert than ever before, and that is really fun. I can do whatever I want at any time of day or night. I don't have to sleep at any prescribed time. I can awaken at two o'clock or three o'clock in the morning and meditate or read a book or this morning I ate a little popcorn. <laughs> life is a beautiful thing and to foster that attitude, loving life, love, love, love life. Your, your uh, whole perspective on being alone will change. And whenever you get outside and about, move about, as we do with the dogs, as the dogs and I do, we um, talk to other dog owners, we wave at everybody. I, by this time, I know everybody who walks in the park. It's a beautiful park, it's a beautiful day, and it's springtime here in central Pennsylvania. Oh, Please subscribe to my channel. Love to you all. Bye-bye.